chased down. But uh, it's going to be a real ask for South Africa. There you go, 319, England 260. Yeah, the worst thing he's did in 2004. That I mean, I've put out of the memory bank. I would have been bowling in that one. <laughs> shot Mehdi Hassan smoked it and 300 is up for Bangladesh brilliant striking David Miller says something about I don't know if the ball's gone down a drain pipe or, or somewhere but he's not going to be able to get it back he's given up and he's signaled to the umpires get a new one I'm not too sure exactly where it's gone but this is a really good strike cross seam delivery back of a length part of trying to beat Mahidi for pace, but he's onto it quickly. It's the drag to the leg side. The contact good enough. But it's the short boundary. And this is real bonus time for Bangladesh. Yeah, I'll finish my point about their method. And the two up at the front would rather be playing shots. Tommy McBall and Litton Das. But under instruction, they had to temper their ways and play very much against what is normal and instinctual. And that so that they wouldn't kind of lose the game up at the front, lose two or three up at the front, then it's kind of a catch up all the way to the back end. If they set it up and bat some time, 10 overs, 15 overs, 20 overs together, then there's less time to bat. And, and normally, just playing their normal game, they'll score quicker than they did today. But it was tough at the beginning. And on another day, they'll get even more. And it allows all the rest to play. Oh, missed it. They might go for a second. No, they won't. Singles okay. It's a productive over. It's gone for 15. 304 for seven with one to play. It's also interesting. I mean, it's no secret that Russell Domingo is the Bangladesh coach. And I can remember having quite a few discussions with him when he was coach of South Africa about our death bowling options and he often wasn't happy with how the guys conducted themselves at the back end of a one-day international inning so it would be interesting to think if the thought process and the game planning was along the lines of conservative up front because I think we can cash in against this bowling attack at the back Bangladesh changing Nervy, he looks sad. Uh, Russell Domingo. Final over then, and it's Lungin Giti who's going to bowl it. Dot to start. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they're, they're happy with that. They haven't worked it out there. We know that, I mean, from our experiences, massive boundary to the leg side, and he really does back that slow delivery, does Lungin Giti. So. You would think Mahidi would be waiting for that rather than the quicker one. I think it's going to be more and more of the same from Mingidi. He's just got to watch where he runs down the wicket there. He's going to get into trouble for that as well. But there's going to be pace off deliveries here. He's going to have to try and work out a game plan to try and be destructive to those kind of deliveries. That's gone a long way up. I don't think it's carried to long on. Oopsie. Throw. Yeah, wayward because he's just trying to get rid of it, get it out of his hands, and perhaps try and stop a second. He couldn't then. Just the two then. Need to cash in on this final one to Bangladesh. Straight to the man, just the one. They've already got what is a, a pretty good score, 307. Seem put the finishing touches to this. And those fans have turned up here, and there are plenty of them in at Supersport Park. They've been in good voice all the way through. As is customary, wherever Bangladesh play in the world, you'll hear their fans, they'll be there, they turn out in droves to support them. Yeah, they would have jumped, did you? I think 33 for, for, for nothing after 10 overs. 
Up to 307 with three deliveries to go. This is going to be a slow ball wide on the crease. And they're coming through for the single. He decides not even to try and execute the run out. Through for a bar. Two deliveries, and they get one out of the ground. That's what they're after. Maybe both out the ground. Oh yes, please stay. There's your warning, or I'll run you out. Not that I have to give you a warning. I'm happy. Yes, they can touch the ball, but they love that it's gone for six as well. They're ecstatic on the bank of the Tigers supporters. And that was a fantastic strike. Another good one from Mahidi. Second six of the innings for him. I think it's all about the length, this one from Mangidi. His slow balls have been so good. They've been foolish in length. But that one's a drag down, and he can hold his pose and drag it across to the leg side. And that's right off the middle. He knew it. a dot to finish is run down not managed to make contact and that is where Bangladesh end 3-1-4 for 7 it's a top effort having started pretty slowly tough at the front with South Africa bowling short and, and full particularly and the pitch playing indifferently two pace right up at the front until it settled down and they hung in there, made sure that they set a platform for those in the middle order and in the low order to then cash in and try and play some shots. And that they did to get them to what is a good score here at Supersport Park. Yeah, superb effort, a real team effort, actually. In the, the top order, the openers had to absorb a lot of pressure. The new ball in particular nipped around and made it difficult. And then it was a good, consistent performance throughout the innings from the entire team. 91 of the last 10 overs was some fantastic striking. And they have now set South Africa 3.15 to win. It's going to be a tough task on a surface that has been a little bit up and down, particularly with the new ball.